of Merritt's Mill Pond and Jackson Blue Spring. Jackson Blue is a first magnitude spring. It's also the head spring of Merritt's Mill Pond, which is actually a man-made reservoir dating back to the 1800s. Andrew Jackson even visited this spring in 1818. If you're in the springs, Merritt's Mill Pond is one of the most fascinating places to visit in the Florida Panhandle and probably the world. It is world renowned for cave divers. It has an extensive cave system. You can see the bubbles coming out of the cave entrance from cave divers. Many classes are taught here from experts like Ed Sorson. In addition to at least five other springs down the pond, Jackson Blue discharged roughly 65 to 75 million gallons of water every day. Depending on rainfall levels, it's roughly 16 to 17 feet to the bottom of Jackson Blue. You'll notice guidelines that lead into the cave. That's uh, for experienced cave divers to find their way out if they lose their lights or have a problem. You may also notice a decompression tank on the entrance of the cave. That's used by cave divers because they can only carry so many tanks into the caves. We try to visit the pond every year, and this time we invited my friend Adam, his wife Andrea, and their son Marcus. It was their first time here. My 13-year-old's favorite part of the springs is usually jumping in the water. You might notice an air pocket in the limestone above. It's not recommended you breathe that air. It's CO2 rich, usually exhaled from divers. Here you can see some divers coming out of the cave. Adam's mullet jump. So after some fun exploring Jackson Blue, we're going to set out on the pond to check out some other springs nearby like Shangri-La and Twin Caves. Our first stop here is Shangri-La. This spot has many caves. Uh, one cave is very popular with cave divers, goes pretty deep. There's some dry caves which you'll see and there's some little tunnels you can go through and pop back up by that rock. My son Matthew taking a look at the main cave.
the light, you can see how extensive this cave is. You can also see how dark it is when the light goes out. Just on the bank of Shangri-La, you'll find this dry cave. It appears to go in a short ways and dead end. Shangri-La is a third magnitude spring and about 50 feet away from the main cave you'll find this limestone fissure. The rest of our group started heading back to Jackson Blue, but I wanted to check out one more spot called Twin Caves. So my wife and I paddled over to the dive platform and I set out in the water to check out Twin Caves. The success of algae is not natural to our Florida spring system. It's caused by high levels of nitrates from all kinds of contaminants and pollutants that are dumped into our water, mostly from yards and runoff. There's actually a golf course right around the corner from this pond. Here we have the first cave of Twin Caves, also known as Springboard Spring. It's roughly 18 feet deep. And here we have the second cave. stay longer but they'll be closing the park pretty soon we don't want to get locked out make sure to like and subscribe we have many more adventures coming including more videos of Merritt's Mill Pond like this one coming soon hey,